that's the end of the season for you. Uh, we are in Beijing, then you, you race in uh, Suntour at home. Yep. So how, how do you feel now? Um, oh, I felt today was, was, uh, it was okay, but um, I went out a little bit too hard and uh, paid the price for it in the, the last 5K with a bit of, a bit of uh, headwind. So um, I hope that that's, uh, that's the way it goes. Um, but no, no, the rest of the week should be good. We just wait and see what the results are from today. We've got a great team here. We've got uh, Heinrich that's, that is uh, sprinting well. We've got a lot of guys that can uh, be aggressive and go up and down the road. Um, so we'll see, uh, see what happens there. Then uh, you know, I'll leave here with a week of racing and then go into Herald Sun Tour in uh, Melbourne, Australia and uh, see what we can do there on the uh, back home. And uh, we've got, once again, another great team racing there with Garmin Cervelo. And um, yeah, no, so it should be a great couple of weeks of racing. But you do you feel fresh now? Uh, uh, I'm ready for a, couple, a little bit of a break. Um, after Herald Sun 2, I'll go into a bit of a break for... Uh, but you, do, you didn't race so much this year uh, on the road. I didn't. Um, I didn't do a lot. Um, but is that something you regret a bit? Um, oh, it's always better having uh, more racing. But um, uh, you know, I, I, you still got to have. I've still got to have a little bit of a break up the Herald Sun Tour because um, you know I have such a big year next year. Yes, because you are a special rider. You both race on the track and on the road. Yes, and next year we have the Olympics again, so uh, on, the, on the track in London. So, um, so next year a lot of a lot of track. A lot of track at the end of this year, the start of next year, and then obviously late again next year as well. So um, we go in there and. Uh, for the next year is going to be a massive year, massive year for me. So um, have a few weeks off and then start the uh, start the big year. So you know what we will do on the road next year? Uh, the kind of races you will take part? Um, it depends. I have to sit down and work work it out. Um, you know, I obviously have to do something that suits me for the, for the Olympics on the track. Um, so so it's everything for the Olympics anyway. Everything for the Olympics. Um, and then you stop with the track. Um, yeah, you know, that's decision decision time after London, but um, yes. for the minute, yeah, I think I concentrate on, on some of the early classics from two, 2013. Um, from a practical point of view, can you explain what your winter will be like? You, do you, how, how, how much holiday do you have? Um, well, actually, for a start, it's, uh, when we go back to Australia, I go back to the summer again, so that's that's one bonus, I guess. Right, but you only have two weeks. A lot of riders have about two months, maybe? Yeah, yeah, no, I um, have a ma yeah, maximum of two weeks, so, and then I have to get ready for the track, the first, uh, the second track World Cup in uh, Colombia, so, um, yeah, not a real lot of downtime, but uh, I haven't had a massive season, so two weeks should be enough for me this year. So when do you have some breaks in the year? Uh, from for the next year, I don't think I have too much of a break. <laughs> so maybe uh, maybe after London next year, then I have one uh, big proper break, maybe off, and then uh, we start the the road season 2013. So what's your secret to be strong from January to December? Well, it's a uh, uh, it's you know I, I'm working well with my coach Mark Quad on the uh, on the uh, on the road and. We just try to have a few down weeks when, when we can and um, easy weeks and um, yeah, and we just go from there. And you feel excited to sign for a new team next year? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's first Australian ever team, pro team, so really looking forward to next year and um, have a great bunch of riders and a great bunch of uh, staff and people supporting the team next year, so it should be fantastic.